came to Australia as a refugee or on boat. So do you want to just quickly talk about that? Yeah, look, my, um, uh, my family are boat people. <laughs> yeah. mm, mm, mm. And so after so the war, well. my, yeah, mm, <laughs> my mm. father um, desperately wanted to leave the country. Um, so he built a boat uh, with some friends and we escaped right from the uh, center of town. Mm. Um, they dressed as fishermen rather than escaping in the dark of night. They dressed as fishermen and three parents um, with their children. So all up, there was 12 of us, mm. six adults, six kids. And we spent nine days out at sea. We were the lucky ones. We left before the pirates caught wind of the mm, bounty that was going yeah. to be at sea, right? Mm, um, I heard about that too. But, yeah, there, there was a danger as well with the other boats as well. So, yeah. Yeah. You mm. know, after um, when I was researching my first book, just hearing so many horror stories of mm. families who escaped the war or um, the aftermath of the war, but then only to have pirates rape and pillage them at sea. Mm, it was uh, devastating. But we were the lucky ones. We left early before the pirates found out about the masses of people that were going to leave the shores. And um, we ended up in a Thai refugee camp. We spent nine days out at sea, Thai refugee camp for about a year. We were only meant to stay there for a few months. And that was where my brother Luke was born. He was born mm. in a tent in the mm -hmm. refugee camp, um, wow. the famous brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, um, and then we arrived in Australia in 1978 and it was really tough. You know, my father came to Australia with two young children. I was three, my brother Lewis was two, mm. as well as a newborn. And my mother was ill at the time. She had tuberculosis. So mm. he had a lot of pressure. He had yeah. a lot of pressure and a lot of stress coming to this new country with yeah. nothing, right? No house, so no scary. money, no language. Yeah. Right? So much uncertainty it, as well. Mm. There, so much uncertainty. And mm. um, he had nowhere else to dump his trauma but on us kids mm. uh, and, and my mum. So growing up was very violent, um, mm. lots of emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual abuse. Mm. And, you know, it's not an uncommon story that we had to get good grades as well, right? <laughs> <laughs> Typical Asians, we have to become a doctor, <laughs> lawyer. I know the story as well. <laughs> it was, it's literally beaten into us. Mm. So uh, growing up was, I started working when I was seven. And my brothers, we all worked at a very young age. My father had a video library, an ice cream parlor, a cafe, oh. a, a restaurant, and he had a driving oh. school on the side as well. How so all, all of us that? were slave, yeah. were slave labor. <laughs> I think okay. it's a typical, yeah. it's a typical entrepreneur thing, right? Yeah. It's not a, it's not a, a you know, a, a skills, it's a focus issue. It's like, ah, bright, shiny object. Ah! Yeah, yeah, true, <laughs> true. But, but look, we, we learned uh, very, very valuable lessons at a mm. very young age, you know, work ethic. Yep. Um, and, uh, but it was a violent upbringing and mm. I ran away when I could. Uh, and then life really started from there when I found the courage to leave home. 